Hello there student, today we are going, we are in our kitchen, we are going to do our uh, test uh, detecting starch in some solution and some products. So the starch is, um, uh, can we can, starch, what is it? It's a polysaccharide of a glycose. It's a source of energy, it's a star energy for the plant. We found it in the bread, we found it in the cereals, we found it in the flowers, we found it also in, in uh, potatoes. So um, this is why when we eat a piece of a bread with the amylase, which is an enzyme that is in, in, in your salva, it's a sugary because you this amylase, which is an enzyme, is going to break down this starch solution, this starch polysaccharide that exists in the bread. So this is why you um uh this is why the piece of bread in contact with the salva becomes sugary i lost my word today as always so anyway so this is our table that we are going to make we are going to put a, one column where all the products we are testing we are testing water the star solution glucose solution glucose not on powder on solution that means you take a sugar your uh, sugar table and you dissolve it in the water let it take like uh, just a little bit like a little um not even a spoon and dissolve it in the water let it cool down and use it potato milk bread piece of cereal and flour we are going to uh, uh not the initial color before we add the starch and then we will detect the color after we add in starch. And then we do the conclusion. Is this cell, so this solution or this substance contains starch? If it contains starch, it will turn darker purple in contact of iodine. Iodine is yellowish. And in contact of starch, it will become dark purple. All right. So I do have here, we post we already put here some water you notice the color initial it have no color so i put like no color initial no color star solution it's like a little milky color the one i have it's little milky but the one that you have it's no color which is the same in your kit glucose solution no color it's just sugary solution it's water with sugar oops i drop it Put, so one piece of potato, which is yellowish, milk, white, bread, yellow solution, color, and flour, white. Okay? And then I am going to put on each one of them 20 drops of water, uh, of iodine. So I keep going. I can I can I can just put ten. Just ten. I am at nine. 10. After I done, I'm going to notice the color after adding the iodine. When I add it in the water, and nothing. It's just the water turn yellow. The yellow color, remember, is the color of iodine. Bingo. The star solution turned really dark purple. Did you see it? All right. 
And the glycol solution is just sugar in the water, it turned yellow. It have no color before, it just turned yellow because the iodine color is yellow. The potato, if you see it, it turned really, really dark purple. The milk, just a little creamy uh, color because it, the white with the yellow, it turned like a little creamy. Doesn't turn purple at all. And then bread, it turned purple. And then the flour turned purple too. So therefore, in conclusions, water doesn't contain starch. Starch solution, of course, contains starch. Glycol solution does not contain starch. Potato, potato contains starch. The milk does not contain starch. Bread contains starch. Flour contains starch. I'm going back to this my table why i am using water and starch if you realize it we know water doesn't have any sugar so why i'm doing it i'm doing it because i'm using it anytime you have any chemical reaction to do you have to use a negative control and a positive control in this case water is my negative control that is my negative control is my water what does that mean? That means I didn't, when you use a negative control in any chemical reactions, you don't have cross-contamination. What if I have here a little purple? And this is my negative control. That means I may have a little flour or little piece of bread inside of my water. It's not sterile. It's not really, really just water on it. Starch solution, knowing that it's going to turn positive because it's a starch, it is used as a positive control. What if my iodine solution that I, I got it from a chemical company, I have it. What if the uh, iodine that you have also in your kit is not working? You put it in contact of uh, starch and it's not working. Then you contact me and said, oh, then I will have to contact the lab that make it and tell them your iodine is not working. All right, but we all receive the same iodine and trust me, it's working. And then glycol solutions and those are the solution. Those are my, our two controls. One is negative and the other one is my positive control. One is negative to not have a cross contamination to make sure and starch is to make sure that my experience is working. That the dye iodine is working. And I am testing glucose, potato, milk, bread and cereal. So this is exactly what I want you to load up. I want you to, to put down the initial color. The water is uncolored. It become yellow. Negative, no starch. Starch is a little, it's uncolored. It become dark purple. It's a positive. Glucose is uncolored. It's yellow and it's negative. Potato is yellowish. It's purple. It's positive. Milk, it's white. It become creamy color. It's to be yellowish, creamy. And it's negative. No, it doesn't. As soon as it doesn't turn blue, a purple, dark purple, it's a negative. Bread. It's yellow, yellow white. It become purple. It's positive. Cereal is yellow. It's become purple. After adding iodine, it's positive. Flower is white. It's become purple. And it's really very positive. So I want you to put your ID with your table that you complete and show me this so the way you do it you do it this way put your id in take a snapshot and um, uh, either you upload it in your uh, um uh, in your uh, discussion board i put on uh, i open already a thread named exercise 29 and they, i i have to let you know if you don't do this experiment that's even if you do the quiz, 
that I am opening in the blackboard, but you didn't, I don't have this, for me, you didn't, the quiz will be counted as zero. Not only you will not get the extra credit, the five extra credits for doing this experiment, but also you will get zero in the quiz. All right, but thank you so much. Bye.